What's up, little Miss Cleezies? It's Ain't That a Mother. Um, I just had some things that I wanted to talk to y'all about real quick. I wasn't really planning on doing this video, um, but I figured I might as well go ahead and do it now and get it out the way. Um, I just got a call back from my RE. Um, my blood work results had came in and everything is fine as far as like the infectious diseases and all that kind of stuff um but she did tell me that my thyroid test came back abnormal um so that sent me into a little bit of a tizzy um but i talked to her a little bit more um just to find out what's causing it and what we're going to do next to handle it so basically what i've been diagnosed with is um hypothyroidism um but it is the autoimmune kind so basically what that means is that my body is attacking my thyroid sounds really scary um after doing some research though i found out that it is quite normal well not normal but um it's something that a lot of people deal with so i'm not a freak that's a good thing um but yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about everything yet. Um, as soon as I got off the phone with the doctor, I called Papa and explained it to her. And then I jumped on Google and did some research and watched a couple YouTube videos. But I'm definitely going to be researching a lot more. I just really wanted to come to my girls because you guys are my support system. Um, and I just want to know if anyone else is dealing with it, how you handled it, and things like that. Um... But yeah, so basically what our next steps are going to be. Okay, so I had already decided since the last video that yes, I was going to go ahead and set out July um, just to recoup, um, get myself back into a good financial balance, um, prepare myself for this upcoming cycle. Um, I've been kind of slacking lately too ever since AF came. I've had, you know, a couple of drinks here and there. Um, I haven't really been eating the way that I should be. I kind of laid off my prenatal vitamin for a little while because it was causing constipation and that was making me very irritable. Um, so it's definitely some stuff that I want to get in order before actually trying again. And a lot of it has to do with me and stuff that I know that I'm doing that I shouldn't be doing trying to get pregnant and all that. Um, so basically the medication that she's going to put me on is called Synthroid. Um, and it basically is going to help uh, get my thyroid back regulated. Right now it's underworking, so I guess this would be a synthetic version of um, the thyroid levels. I'm not exactly sure what that would be called. Um, I'm sure I will though here soon because I'm going to be doing my thug thizzle. Um, but she's going to put me on um, 50 micrograms, so I don't know if that's a lot or a little. Sounds little just because they say micro, but who knows. There's nothing left in here. Um, let's see. So I was able to call around to a couple of different pharmacies to find out who we were going to go through. And, um. Uh, it's on the four dollar list at Walmart, so we're good. I don't know why I just decided to grab a piece of ice in the middle of a video. That was retarded. But I guess it's a nervous thing. I'm probably just nervous right now. So yeah, it's on the four dollar list at Walmart. So it's not like an obscene amount of money. Uh, basically, she wants me to take this for a month. Well, really what she wants me to do is freaking OPK, which I'm not happy about. I thought me sitting this cycle out meant that I wasn't going to have to pee on a stick. But she wants me to go ahead and OPK for this, for this cycle. When I get a positive OPK, she wants me to give her a call. So at that point, we can go ahead and schedule um, another blood draw for exactly a week after my positive. She wants to check my um, progesterone levels to make sure that's okay too. Which I thought that was one of the things that we were testing for with the first blood draw, but I guess not. Um, and I'm probably gonna start this med, uh, depending on when they call me, let me know it's ready, either today or tomorrow. So 
within the next couple of days I'll be starting that but she wants me to OPK once I get a positive give her a call and then we can go ahead and test my progesterone and see about moving forward basically what she's saying at this point is if my progesterone levels are not normal I'm gonna end up on Clomid I've already expressed how I feel about that before I don't really mind but when I called Papa, she was like, man, are you serious? Like, she really doesn't want me to be on Clomid. She really doesn't want me to have twins. I'm cool with that. I'm going to try to go ahead and ease her fears as much as possible. You know, that twins is not the worst thing that could happen. Especially seeing as how I don't really think we're going to end up going through this process again. Because I, you know, I'm not older. But my dream span between children would be school age my mom said you know by the time she had the second one of us the first one was on their way going to preschool and so she was only at home full time with one of us and the other one she was kind of getting a break from um so to have two in one will be fine with me but papa's freaking out about that um but some of the stuff that i did learn basically about my condition so far as far as um things that it could cause a lot of them are very relevant to me the very first one that stuck out to me was the fatigue and I thought a lot of that was simply because of the hours that I work but I've always been like that I've always been really tired I could lay in bed all night all day and still wake up exhausted on my day off a lot of you guys know you don't hear from me until late in the afternoon because I'm in bed and I still can't wait to get back in the bed um memory loss that's a big one um weight gain and loss like yo-yo and back and forth that I've never really had a problem with but I will say I've always been happy with my weight I've never been like a big obsessive person over my weight I've never done a bunch of dieting or exercising or anything like that I know when it's time to lose weight and I know when it's time to gain it but it does happen very quickly for me when I first moved down here I was a size 7 that was excuse me in December and by March I was a size 12 that's a lot of weight to gain that quickly but then I noticed in March and brought like end of April beginning of May all the weight was gone you know what I mean so it's like that up and down back and forth yes I do gain and lose weight very easily but I've never had like a problem with my weight um dry skin and hair which curly hair is naturally more dry but I do have to use a lot of different products to keep my hair from looking dry and I've always shed a lot my hair has always shed a lot and I've always attributed that to the fact that I co-wash a lot I don't comb my hair out every single time I co-wash I usually will wash my hair say every two to three weeks maybe depending on how bad it feels I know when my hair is ready to be washed so every two to three weeks I'll actually wash it I'll do a deep conditioner comb it out but for the most part I'm just co-washing and adding product to it so when my hair comes out like that to me I've always just assumed it was because that was a normal shed pattern build up and then just all released at the same time because I'm not combing my hair out every single day like a normal woman would. Um, flaky nails, like my nails are always been really thin and brittle and like flaky, like it's really bad. Um, depression is another thing that I have suffered with, like not extreme cases of it, but like I was telling them, my coworkers, you know, there's times where I'll go two, three weeks and then all of a sudden one day I'll just like kind of wake up and I'll realize that. I just came out of a bout of depression. I felt normal at the time. Everything was cool, but it was like the world was just going on around me. And I was just kind of like walking around, just being like a, almost like a zombie. Um, and just feeling bad and not really caring about certain things and stuff like that. And all of a sudden one day I'll just wake up and I'll feel better. Um, so, and that is something too that runs in my family. Um, that's another thing about the auto immunity part of it as I asked her you know is there anything that I've been doing personally to my body that's making it cause you know this to happen and she told me no a lot of it is just hereditary genetics um, more than likely it runs in my family so that did make me feel a little bit better that it's not something that I caused on my own and it is something that we can definitely get regulated um, but she says that <clears throat> me getting pregnant while having this condition un un unmanaged could cause you like um, brain defects and things like that in a child so I guess another good reason why I went to the RE um, my heart was just telling me it was time to go um, but she's saying that this imbalance is definitely something that could keep me from getting pregnant so at this point um, 
we're going to work on getting all this stuff straightened out. And in the meantime, I'm just going to be saving money. Um, she says that she doesn't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to get all this stuff resolved in time to try for August. Um, but we're just going to have to closely monitor my blood levels and things like that. Which, for a blood draw in that clinic, is really, really quick, really simple, in and out. So I can get up early in the morning, go do that before work, and be back here and have the store open on time. Um, I've heard the door open and close a lot, which means there's customers. So I got to go. Just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Feel free to coddle me. I could use some lovings. Um, just because I'm a big uh, crybaby when it comes to stuff like this. I've never had any major health issues. Like, I broke my arm when I was seven and I have allergies. I wear glasses. That's really about it. Like, I've never been one of those in and out the hospital type persons. Or, like, you know, having all these diseases and medications and all this stuff to deal with. So at least it's something that's manageable but at the same time I'm kind of like oh my god there's something wrong with me like I just want to know that I'm normal so if any of you guys have dealt with this or are dealing with this please reach out to me let me know that I'm not the only one going through this I love you guys to pieces um I will still record a video on Thursday um not quite sure about what but I'm sure I'll figure out something um in the meantime be easy lemon squeezy